And we're back. You and I get to see some more Project Zomboid content for you today. We, uh, my character woke up really early again, so I just did some inventory management type stuff while I was waiting for it to get a bit brighter out, uh, with the most important bit being now we have David the Gnome in our living room. I think we're going to start off today by going out and checking out that second car I saw on the way back today. Uh, I did put a bunch of building supplies in here as well because I googled it and it's something to do with um, the outer ring of the roof not counting as solid tiles because it's like you know sloped gutters or something which yeah you can it doesn't it's hard to notice because it's right up against the wall but it is along that side as well so uh, there is a bit in the other video where the roof is covered in rain and it kind of makes it obvious so I don't know why I didn't just stick with it but um yeah so we'll be able to get onto the roof today i just need to build one more tile and we'll be good to go with that but before we do that and after i check out this car i think we're gonna make a trip to the school take a drive over there and try and get some books or a how to use a generator magazine because well, I've seen like three generators at this point, but, you know, apparently they're too complicated for people to figure out. Ah, this one's fully locked down, so there's not a lot I can do with it. And it's, it's in a lot worse condition than the one I already have. I think it's the same model though, so it'll be handy for parts when that's needed. Oh, come on. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to my bulking, yeah. We'd gone up a bit, and now we're going back down. And that's about all this place wrote, other than the food. Which we'll just grab before we head back home so we can dump it straight in. The freezer. I might try just... See if this fixes the staircase. No, that wasn't it. But I really don't think it's going to be needed anymore, so I, I don't think I'll bother uh, refilling it. Alright, what's the best way to get there? I think that's the school, because I did go over there. Alright, if I just go down as far as I can and across, that should take me there. Oh, come on, fucking get in. And, uh, hopefully I don't manage to break the car on the way. was a lot underneath the school and in the school. Fuck, this place has filled out since last time I was here. That's a survivor house that I didn't notice before. Come on, you fucks. I didn't expect it to be so populated here, but I did still expect there to be a fight, so... Can't act surprised. There was... Alright, 
I think that's from the expanded helicopter events, meaning that the hostile events can start happening now. Which I do not like to hear, because I don't particularly fancy getting myself shot. Uh, it's just another school bag, isn't it? It looked like a big uh, hiking bag as I was driving past. So I bothered making the trip over. more watches to disassemble <sighs> no, nothing too useful so yeah there's uh there's helicopter events that will shoot me on site now doesn't that sound amazing, you know? That draw tension. Surprisingly, no. Yeah, we got a bunch of good books, but uh, not the generator magazine I was hoping to find. So, uh, a bit unfortunate. But while we're here, we may as well check out a survivor house. Oh, that's where I. Oh, so I've been here like multiple times, right next to it. I, I thought I could remove planks. Do I not have a hammer on me? I have a ball peen hammer. I should have brought that uh, crowbar I had. It's not something I knew I'd be doing, so I can't beat myself up over too much. <laughs> well. This day has been a huge success. And I'm already drowsy even though it's midday because my character keeps waking up at like 2 in the morning. This day is just a completely huge success then. Uh, we've got like everything we wanted from this journey. find oh, don't leave it running I'll grab one of the generators up zombies. 
I know I went past two of them last time, so... Hmm, that horde up there has gotten bigger than last time. to have read the book before. just not die. Did they all? No, okay. Sometimes it's just like while you're looking in one direction it's hard to tell that it's not bright because <coughs> everywhere you've looked has like a different shade to completely different uh, to areas you just completely haven't seen. And usually it's fine. Uh, just sometimes, yeah, catches me off guard. Where are you, generator? Ah. Hold up a second. Oh, I closed. I was. Oh. I was panicking for a sec there. Um, I guess I don't have anywhere. What? Oh, I just connected to the car. I'm assuming. I meant to take a generator. Does that mean that I could take the generator before and I was just looking at the wrong option? If so, I'm a bit, uh, a bit on the dumb side. Once again, I forgot to turn off the fucking ignition. bunch of shit down in the car. I'll sort that out later. Alright, now we want to get this uh, water situation uh, fixed as soon as possible so that next time it rains we're actually going to be uh, making progress. Okay, okay, that's where I need to build one. Yeah, you can't see them overlapping, which is annoying as shit. So it was. That's I've already got one here. I need to build one. Yeah, if we 
go there and across yes we're actually on the roof and can see through that part and like I know the edge bit will make me no the edge bit's not even making me fall down well that's weird as shit can't decide how it wants to behave. I did grab a saw, right? Incorrect. <coughs> okay, I think I have one down here. It'll be quicker since I forgot to grab it. If I grab, make my character really hate me. Do you? Yeah, okay. That's probably how I'll have to do it uh, so I don't kill myself. Furniture, rain collector barrel. One, two, four, five, six. So I need to build a floor there first. Yeah. Fuck, this roof is so unpredictable. And with that there, oh well. I just have one plank remaining. We'll start expanding it. Just so I'm less likely to fall off. I don't... I'll go through and find out which ones are actually unsafe. But now I run down here. And I have a pipe wrench on me. So I should just be able to plumb dark industrial sink. And that'll automatically filter itself and everything. Um, which is why it's so good to have plumbing instead of just collector barrels, because uh, you don't have to boil it. One, two, three. Okay, so three and four across we want another rain barrel. Um, but I'll leave that for in the morning. Let's put these down here. I'll, uh, I'll wait for this food to cook, uh, then probably read a book before I go to bed so I don't wake up really early again, and be back with you guys in the morning. And that alarm going off means that we're back here in the morning, and I actually slept through the night for once. No one's building up in my field of view. How many skill points do Okay, so it's completely pointless having cooking volume 1. You already read... 
Right, the performance uh, ones must be in the car then. Now what was it I said? Three in, four across. And do I still have all the garbage bags on me? I'm guessing I must. Carpentry, furniture, ring collector barrel. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Get it right. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Ah, okay. I must have just been right clicking on the wrong spot. Fucking scared myself for a second there. use the remaining planks to build some more I can double layer the flooring that just solves me being over encumbered and makes me less likely to uh, fall on my death spend today coming up to these houses and going through the actual houses instead of just the garage because uh, that's the places I always seem to end up finding gun cases just in these houses and by always I mean two out of two times so uh, it's not a huge sample size but Zombies have been into this place. I don't know if they climbed out again or not, so keep on high alert. Is it this window? Ah, uh, must be upstairs then. Where's that magazine? I don't care about keeping it because, uh, oh! Oh, I can see that. I, uh, I intend on just, if I die, that's it, kaput. So, uh, not really any point in carrying the unnecessary weight, even if it is just like 0.1 or whatever. This person here, you don't need to target the doors and windows.
don't think the police gear is better than anything I have. No. Well, that's part of the across the road horde dealt with. Check for ice cream. No ice cream. Uh, we do have a key though, so that's that's nice. It. Not what I need, but I'll take it. And there we are, we have a gun case. I think it was a small one, so just a pistol, but it'll be helpful if I need to uh, lure some zombies around. Along with the gun case, we did also get that uh, key too, so we can get out of this van now. is always handy. Not a whole lot in the actual cab. I'm assuming there's just a bunch of electrical crap I can dismantle. condition heavy duty vehicle. a lot of nothing good. Have I already been in this one or did the window just happen to be open? Well if I have been here it's still... Alright you're almost defrosted. And never mind. I, uh, I think I'll fill in my peckishness with an entire tub of ice cream. Hopefully we can find a, uh, a shotgun case as well. Or just one on a dead body. And a deagle. Oh, this is. Okay, 
why the fuck did this one zombie have so much shit on it? And not one but two rifles, a shotgun, and a deal. It didn't even know that could happen. I think that's another shotgun there. Well, equip this one in the secondary because I'm already heavily encumbered. And, um, we're going home. <laughs> There's no point trying to find more shit. <laughs> What's that? All I need now is a fucking antique stove so I can cook with- Ah, oh, right, I gotta go round with the thing in my secondary. Alright, so now I have both shotguns, because that's a double barrel. And then the other one I had was the GS2000. Now I can convert one of the, uh, the second bedroom upstairs into an armory of sorts. Because I won't use... Uh... Guns unless, you know... I'm trying to, like, when I'm trying to clear out the, uh, police station, I'll use them then. That kind of crap. But other than that, there's, uh, not a whole lot of point other than trying to get myself killed. And even when I do use them, uh, there's not a whole lot of point in using anything other than the shotguns because my aiming is level zero. I gotta look into what all the buildings nearby are because the next step I gotta do is find seeds. Um, are grey buildings normally storage buildings? I can mull draw they are, but uh, I'll have to look up the map for this place, or I could just fucking deal with it and suffer the consequences. Now I'll save that for uh, for another video when I'm not already uh, fucking. Already of moderate exertion, I'm not gonna wait around while it fixes itself to uh, deal with that crap. Alright, how do I make a. Uh... Oh, fucking. It'll be here somewhere, crap. Make campfire kit. Two logs and a rip sheet. I don't need a whole lot of fuel. I'm just going to use this to burn corpses. I know they fade away in their own over time, but uh. Place item? No.
Well, I'll be right back. Alright, it's that simple. You just right click on the ground instead of right clicking on the crap in your inventory. And I gotta put that there first because I think that uh, once the tile is occupied, I can't build a campfire there anymore. I drop corpse. And uh, I'll just turn this into a montage, uh, either until I get all this done or nighttime hits. Uh, I'm gonna stop moving the corpses here, cause, fucking, the movement speed is so slow at this point. What's the point of resting if it didn't fix me? Ah, uh, that's fucking stupid. I don't know why that's happening. Fill empty bottle. Do you have like... No, that's just fucking foraging. I grab yeah I did grab all these bin bags grabbed all the ones from here I did uh, place all the weapon stuff down here, you can just see it through the t I wasn't paying enough attention, I meant to be placing it on the table like I did with these two, but once I realized what I'd done, I could not be fucked fixing it. Um, so I'm gonna eat this chicken, read this book, uh, and then go to bed for the night, and that'll be the end of it for today, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next one.